the light on it. Uh, I had just dreamed that the uh, was that group of people and we were trying to find a passcode, a password, whatever, and we find it. And this was uh, finally the numbers came up uh, above the entrance of an elevator and it was 1092. And then I was standing on the left side of that door and we, I looked up. The other guys were on my left, I believe. So we had this number, but then the treasure was in that room 1092 in that hotel so i call up the speak on behalf of the group i was i call up the lady at the hotel the owner whatever the fat white lady if I, the large one uh, i don't know why i picture her like this and i said to her i said to her 1092 and she she kind of looked there was two on the right side two rooms on the right side but i was waiting and she looked in the paper and she tells me this number of the hotel that she could give us which to me was picture invisibly on the left and was close to other rooms you know if there was a section at the right which would be almost at the back of the hotel and now she's telling me more in the front with everybody or rather on the left with everybody a lot of people around you know i could even feel the, the people around through the walls or the walls so i'm like oh, why like uh, is it taken or something and I thought because of that it would be taken when I was uh, waiting, but she didn't say that and she's asking why do you want 1092 or why do you want that uh, uh, that room and uh, you know uh, we wanted that day so I was like uh, you know I don't really lie these days uh, I barely start lying or not because I'm, I'm mad at God and everyone uh, you know nothing seems to work and uh, financially so after I did one mistake 20 years ago trying to kill so what I'm saying here is uh, I said to her I said to her what did I said I said uh, because we're, we're shooting a movie but it was not really true. I, I was talking on behalf of the guy on the left, the, the kind of the chef head of the, the group. And I said, because we shot a movie before, and, you know, wanted to finish the scene. In other room, wouldn't work, kind of. And that was the excuse. But she says, I, if I give that, that room to you, are you guys gonna are you gonna sleep? And uh, for the answer, I look at that guy on the group on the left. And when I look on the left, this guy was, uh, I was facing his back. He was sitting on a desk and he was looking right in front of him. Like I was not looking at his back um, silently. He didn't even move. So to me, he was facing east if I was... Uh, it was if I was facing north, it was facing east because I looked on my left, but it almost seemed north at the same time, anyways. And uh, after this, he got asleep and looked at him. And I said, or just before, I said, you know, if you take that, that room, you give it to us. Before that, when I argue, I said, We'll, let, we'll leave by 10 o'clock, you know, instead of the usually 11. So I said, we'll leave by 10 o'clock uh, so you can wash the beddings. And when I see the beddings, I see kind of waves under the beds or kind of the, the not wave, but the bedding and toss a bit. I even don't know if I said to myself, we'll wash the bedding. And she says, no. And uh, 
and then that's when she asked why do you want it and then this is this is kind of the excuse i said for us